Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Connor Sims here, and today I'm going to be talking guys about the LCAR versus the RK5 in Black Ops 3. So, uh, these two pistols have pretty much been on top for a very long time now. Uh, ever since the beginning of the game, you know, the LCAR was just absolutely ridiculous. That eventually ended up getting banned on UMG, and uh, not too many people ran it. It was just ridiculous. And eventually, uh, after I think a month or two, they ended up nerfing it. So, um, here we are. The game's a lot more balanced now. We have the LCAR and the RK5. They're just about similar. And I just basically want to determine which one's better. I got this question on Twitter. Uh, this was kind of a requested video, so I figured I'd answer. And I thought a lot of you guys would have the same question. So, um, a lot of people like to use the LCAR just because of the fact that it's automatic. A lot of people like that automatic feeling. And plus, a lot of people feel that it's better at range. It feels more like a regular submachine gun. So I'm going to try to explain everything without getting too technical. I'm not going to read off numbers and stuff. All of these stats are actually from the Marvel 4 spreadsheet. I'll put the link in the description. It has pretty much every statistic on every gun in Black Ops 3. So you guys can check that out if you want hard statistics and stuff. But I'm sure most of you guys don't care about all those numbers and stuff. So I'm just going to try to summarize it to the best of my ability for you guys. So despite the fact that one's fully automatic and one's burst fire, uh, these two guns actually have quite a lot in common. They have uh, the exact same hip fire, which is actually quite important for pistols and stuff because you're going to be using these in close range situations. So uh, they're exactly equivalent as far as hip fire goes. Their reload is 100% the same, uh, identical, same amount of time. So that's another kind of important thing. If for whatever reason you miss shots and stuff, uh, one gun isn't going to give you the advantage when reloading uh, than the other. So that's that. Now where both of these guns strive is what makes them different. Uh, the LCAR, like a lot of people thought before, is actually better at range and stuff, and that is actually 100% true. You guys can go look at the range multipliers and um, all those good stats on the Marvel 4 spreadsheet, and ultimately, the LCAR is going to get you a lot more quicker, faster, better kills, not to mention the recoil is slightly less on the LCAR um, at range. But the main problem with it is the fact that you cannot three-shot no matter what. So if, let's say you're in the same room, you're like running up and you bump heads with some guy, he has an RK5 and you have an LCAR, you're going to end up losing that gunfight strictly because of the fact that the RK5 can one burst you at close range um, and get that whole entire burst out. If every bullet hits, that's a quick three shot kill, you're done. Uh, if you have the LCAR, you have to actually four shot kill. Obviously you can miss shots, some shit can happen, bullshit hit reg. Connection lag, this is all just hard stats, there's none of that involved here, but, um, you know, a lot of people will say that, oh, dude, this LCAR fucking sucks. It technically does up close. It's going to lose almost every time to the RK5 if you guys are up close, unless obviously someone misses, but uh, if everyone hits every shot, you guys shoot at the same exact time, the LCAR will lose every time. However, let's say we're in a situation like in maybe in Barn on Fringe, um, if you're looking at someone and you're like a decent solid distance away, let's say you're like pre-aiming the stairs uh, and you're waiting for them to come up, they have no chance because you're at a decent range away, you have the L car and you're going to melt them. They have n not no shot at all, but uh, the RK5 is significantly worse at range. Uh, than the L car. The L car is kind of this long range submachine gun that you want. Uh, maybe if you're running like a really, really close range SMG or even a shotgun, something like that, that you're going to be completely fucked at long ranges and you don't want to run overkill or overkill may be banned uh, depending on what you're playing. But um, if you want something that will absolutely shred up close, I, I would say that you could compare the RK5 to the Vesper, if that makes any sense. Like, the Vesper absolutely shreds up close. Obviously, it's not going to do anything at long range, uh, just because the recoil and stuff is so bad, but it absolutely shreds up close. And I feel like the RK5 is that exact same thing, but in the pistol category rather than the SMGs. And, you know, the LCAR is something for, like, that long range, good, solid gunfight, like maybe the CUDA is. The CUDA isn't that good up close, it's going to lose every time to the Vesper, but, um, you know, it's really good at range and stuff, and I feel like that's where the LCAR is, so, so that's that, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, I just wanted to summarize this really quick, if you're going to take anything away from this, I would say that you shouldn't run the LCAR on something like, you know, a CUDA or a long range weapon, um, it, it's just really not worth it and it, it's really like a long range SMG in itself, but uh, if you're running something, you know, that you really need close range, like coverage, maybe even like an M8, it wouldn't be a bad idea to be running the RK5, but to each their own, that's just my opinion. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.